Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. I have a record haul today because I've been to the second hand record shop near me. It's finally open again. Uh, here's the... I'll get them out one by one. Um, now I got all of these for £14. One of them was £1. Uh, which is a steal, it's a bargain. I, I, I can't do conversions. I don't, I'm not very good with maths, but I always imagine that, that the dollar is worth more. I'm not even sure how it works. So don't take my conversions as <laughs> a law or anything. So let's start with this one. This was the one I picked up for one pound. That's one dollar. We have Bonnie M with Night Flight to Venus. Now, um, I had to pick this up when I saw it because of the song Rasputin. It's brilliant. It's so catchy and fun. And it's a really great song. And also, listening to this last night, I heard Rivers of Babylon, which is on this one. Which I didn't know. It's one of those songs I knew, but I didn't know the name of it. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. And I love the robotic voice on the opening track to the song. <clears throat> but again, like, for one pound, one dollar, you can't go wrong. And it, it plays fine. It was perfect. Uh, I have no qualms about it. That's just brilliant. Um, now, next one. Was, <coughs> next one's brilliant. Uh, I knew I needed to get this, so find this. Ooh, pardon me. The Proclaimers. Sunshine on... <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. The Proclaimers. Sunshine on Leaf. Leaf? Lee? I think it's pronounced Lee. Um, it's somewhere in Scotland. Because I believe these guys are Scottish. Uh, 1988. So this song has, of course, I'm gonna be 500 miles, and I will walk 500 miles. <laughs> it's a really great, upbeat, catchy song. I also love, uh, is it What You Do You Do? is a really great song, and Sunshine on Lee is amazing. Uh, I'm not the hugest fan of this band, but this album's great. Um, even though, like, I'm gonna be 500 Miles is a meme song. It's really good, but also really cheesy. And it's been memed to death, but I love it. That is a fantastic album. Now, we're going to stay in the 80s. This was another cheap one, but I had to pick it up. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? So, the Eurythmics of Sweet Dreams includes Sweet Dreams and Love is a Stranger. That amazing album, an amazing 80s band. Um, Sweet Dreams is one of the greatest songs ever made, in my mind. But the woman, the lead singer, what is her name? Um, oh, I can't remember her name, but she looks really weird. At least in the music video for Sweet Dreams. But that is brilliant. I'm going to love listening to that. And the last one is just a single. But <laughs> we have, wrong way around, Say, Say, Say. By Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. There they are on the back. I haven't listened to this yet because it is just a single, but I mean, for three pounds, three dollars, I thought I'd pick it up. Uh, they had, <coughs> so, Side A is the regular song, and Side B is the instrumental remixed by John Jalubin Bentinez, which is cool. Now, I thought, like, so, this, I believe the story goes in the 80s, or at least the early 80s. The original Beatles uh, catalog was up for auction, or the record company was selling it off because Paul McCartney didn't own the rights to all the Beatles stuff he'd written prior to like 1965. I don't, the date might be wrong. And uh, Paul McCartney had told Michael Jackson that if you wanted to get into money uh, or make more and more money, you, you make your money in the licensing rather than. Uh, the music itself. So uh, Michael Jackson bought the rights to the, all the early Beatles stuff. Or it, it was something like that. I don't know the exact story. I'm sure you can look it up. And they sort of had a massive falling out over that. Um, it's also, I've been learning about the Jacksons and Michael Jackson's early career. And I, it's absolutely crazy. So, <clears throat> I don't, again, I'm not sure on the dates, but I believe that uh, Paul McCartney met John Lennon and George Harrison um, when they were 14 or when they were but but they weren't like 
in a like a proper band. They weren't making money. They weren't in the limelight. Whereas Michael Jackson was in was ten years old when uh, the Jacksons had some of their biggest hits, which just blows my mind. And that's why, unfortunately, Michael Jackson was a bit weird when he grew up because he didn't have a childhood. Uh, his childhood was taken from him, and unfortunately, he. <clears throat> Michael Jackson's innocent. He never did anything wrong. Uh, people were always after his money, and people have admitted that, and I believe that to death. But he did do things like he did have sleepovers with children and things like that. I, you know, it, it's not the best look, let's say, but unfortunately, that's because his childhood was not the, the best. But I'm sorry, that was a weird, dark tangent, but yeah, that's going to be great. So, my plan is going forward. I'm not really going to buy brand new records anymore. Unless one of my favourite artists releases something new. Uh, I'm trying going to start buying them second hand. Because that's four records there. Which I got for the price of one. Which I think is great. And I don't know how or why. But I don't have my massive allergic reaction to them anymore. I, d I didn't do anything to stop it. It's just stopped. Which is great. But yeah, I'm going to go and listen to some of these. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about any of these albums. And I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone.